Imagine you sent a small Venmo payment to a friend and something about that payment changed what your friend thought about you or even how they treated you. My dissertation suggests that this could happen. I was interested in this topic because so much of modern social life takes place through online platforms. Yet online, we lack well-established social norms. As consumers, we may not know how our decisions are perceived by others or influence others' behavior toward us. I investigated the impact of choosing to conduct payments privately or publicly. On Venmo, public transactions are the default and to date more than 207 million transactions have been conducted publicly. Yet, I found consistent evidence that there are interpersonal benefits associated with sending payments privately. Why might that be? To understand, let's think about the implications of transacting privately versus publicly. Here we have an example of a private payment on the left and a public payment on the right. When you send a pay payment privately, your friend has two options. One, they could continue keeping the payment private. Or two, they could choose to disclose the payment details to others. Again, because you chose to transact privately, your friend has two options. Yet, if you choose to transact publicly, your friend loses the option to keep the payment private. Through your decision to send the money publicly, you have already disclosed the information to others and the ability to keep it private no longer exists. Making choices that maximize rather than reduce others' options is called socially mindful behavior. When people demonstrate the socially mindful behavior of paying privately, others infer that they, the payer, possess stronger communal traits, which is to say traits that demonstrate consideration toward others. If someone has strong communal traits, people tend to expect that they will be considerate of others in a variety of situations. People tend to believe private payers will behave more cooperatively because they possess those stronger communal traits. In turn, when interacting with private payers, people themselves become more likely to cooperate. To conduct this research, I sampled approximately 1300 participants across eight studies. In one experimental study, participants imagined receiving either a private or a public payment from a new friend. Then they imagined playing a game with that same friend. Results showed that they expected a friend who paid privately to behave more fairly in the game. In response, participants were more likely to cooperate by accepting private payers offers within the game. This research is important for two reasons. One, the business managers running online platforms may be interested to know that public interactions can negatively influence the very social relationships they aim to serve. Two, many online platforms give consumers the ability to interact with others privately or publicly, and consumers deserve to know the implications associated with that choice. So, the next time you're sending a payment, remember that from an interpersonal perspective, there are real advantages to keeping it private which is to say, just between you and me.